What an amazing car. If there's a time machine, it is this. It's from 1957 and looks better than any car at all times. Yes, this is a Mercedes 300 SL. And here it is, the Tamiya Mercedes 300 SL, which released a few years ago. To be honest, I didn't expect that. This kit is just amazing. I'm very pleased with the result and kit's quality. I'm starting with building the chassis frame. Tamiya has missed a few details in the construction that makes up the chassis frame. I will show you them on next stage. Now I'm keeping simple the build. I'm just following the instructions at this stage. Modeling basics, cut, clean and get parts together. Let's continue with the engine. It's time to detail the engine. Of course, I could also make them from scratch, but I remembered of my old friends who have been lying on the side of the closet for a long time, and I got help from them for this job. Yes, they are Blender software and Anacubic 3D printer. After a few hours, I designed and printed some basic parts to help detailing the engine. Let's continue to the build. I am adding 3D print parts. That's enough for now. I can start to make fuel injection pipe. It's necessary to be careful for a smooth bending. The realistic result is how neat they look when placed next to each other. I'm putting these aside for now. After the painting job is done, I will mount them in place. This part under the manifold is actually a completely separate part and chrome plated. To create that effect, I drove the joints with a needle. I also filed the ends to make it look thin like a sheet. I'm not done with the manifold. Need to add some details.
After adjusting the length of the hose and adding water connection pipe as well, I'm done with the manifold for now. Let's continue with the radiator hoses. I'm adding the metal clamp details simply like this with self-adhesive foil. It's a good idea to thin out the radiator fan blades. The devil is in the details. This mesh comes with the kit. Let's use part of it for a different task. Air intake filter detail. I can start to the first phase of paint job. Now I can add the remaining details to the engine. Here it's what I mentioned before. I'm covering the plate with piece of self-adhesive foil to get different metal shine. I need this, this and this jig to make ignition cable and cap from scratch. Drilling a piece of lead wire is not an easy job, but if you marked it with nail before, that become easy. Missing radiator pipe detail.
I am adding a little bit weathering wash to highlight the details. And the engine is complete, except one thing. First I am removing the wiper transmission arm details from the firewall. A few arm details are missing on the frame. I am going to add these details for them first. Yes, this is one of the missing arms. And I am making the wiper transmission arms from scratch. The obvious detail, the headlight relay, is missing. I am making it from scratch using some spare sprue parts and stretched sprue piece. This 3D print bolt will be a proper cap of brake fluid reservoir. Yes, as I expected. One more missing detail. The Viper Linkage Cam. And the Distributor Cable. I can start to paint the interior parts. Now I can glue the engine in place. I will use this elastic thing, I don't know its name, grab from sewing box and different size of lead wire.
I'm painting the rubber hose details with rubber black paint. As you see, the result is worth the effort. I know the most of these details are not will be visible or not noticeable, but scale modeling is all about the journey, not the destination. Tamiya has cleverly designed the windshield washer tank. You can paint it from the inside, like this. But some details are still missing, hose and pipe details on it. Here is the result so far. And it's time to work on the car body. I must cut these support pieces without deforming the body. Otherwise I may experience many problems in the later stage. Because the windshield frame is very delicate as you see. I'm applying a grey primer first to see what surprises await me. And of course I'm sending this primer as like the other layers I will apply. And then I'm applying a white primer and the main color.
After the first sanding, there were problems in some edges and lightly painted areas just as I expected. No problem, I will apply two more paint layers. After that, now I am applying a heavy gloss varnish layer. I sanded every layer before applying the next coat. Like that, I will apply three more layers. Before the final sanding job, I am painting the inside of the body. In the last final sanding step, I will also have cleaned any possible paint overflow. I know there are tons of fancy stuff in the market, but I like to use these compounds. After hours of polishing stations, I finally achieved the shine I wanted. P.S. Be careful with the windshield frame at polishing stations. Now comes the most stressful part. Painting window frames with chrome without ruining the paint. Proper masking is the key. I'm wiping the excess paint with water before it's completely dry. No matter what you do, the edges will not be smooth as you want to be. Here is the solution. The chrome plated parts are okay except these parts. I will not use them, but I am going to show you how to fix them anyway. After that, I sent the old chrome plated parts to a bleach bed. After about 10 minutes, all chrome plates are gone. I am sending the tires to break the toy effect. I know the original rims and hubs are not painted like that, but I saw this beautiful car and decided to paint like that.
I will add only a few minor details to the interior. The suitcase anchor frame is also missing. I will add that detail with this way. Let's start to the final assembly. White glue is always my first choice in risky areas. Whoops, no worries. It cleans up with some water. White glue is a lifesaver. I'm painting the signal lights from the inside. Well, thanks for watching this episode. If you liked the video, please like and share. Subscribe my channel if you haven't yet. Also, you can support my channel if you can see the join button below or on Patreon. The links are in the information section below. 
See you soon on the next episode. Until then, take care yourself and keep modeling. Bye.